All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation seven to the power of x plus seven to the power of x plus seven to the power of x is equal to 147. So to start, I'm gonna factor out seven to the power of x. So I get seven to the power of x times one plus one plus one is equal to 147. So soon as seven to the power of x times three is equal to 147. Now from here, I'm gonna divide both sides by three. So seven to the power of x is equal to 147 divided by three is going to equal 45, sorry, not 45, 49. So I get seven to the power of x is equal to 49 and 49 is equal to seven squared. So I have seven to the power of x is equal to seven to the power of two, meaning x is equal to two. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the system of equations m plus n is equal to five and m times n is also equal to five. So obviously these two are two equations and I'm gonna label my first equation equation one and my second equation equation two, just to make the solving easier. So my first equation is m plus n equals five and what I'm gonna do is actually rewrite this so I get the value of just one of these variables. So I'll, I, can do, I can choose any one. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna choose m. So to get the value of m, I have to get rid of n by subtracting n on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get m is equal to five minus n. So now the reason I did this is because I can substitute this value of m back into my original equation. So if I substitute this back in, I get five minus n times n is equal to five. Now I can distribute the n so five times n is going to be five n and negative n times n is gonna be negative n squared. So I have this is equal to five. And now I can add n squared on both sides and subtract five n on both sides. And I get n squared minus five n plus five is equal to zero. Now from here, to solve this, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 5, and c is positive 5. So I get n is equal to negative of negative 5 plus or minus the square root of negative five squared minus four times a, which is one times c, which is five. And I have this all over two a, so two times one. And now this is equal to positive five plus or minus the square root of 25 minus four times five, which is 20, all over two, which is equal to five plus or minus the square root of five over two. And this can't be simplified anymore. So n is equal to five plus or minus the square root of five over two, which can be divided into two equations, or sorry, two solutions. n is equal to five plus the square root of five over two, and n is equal to five minus the square root of five over two. Now, recall how m plus n is equal to five. This was equation one. So now what I can say is that 
m of 1 plus 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2 is equal to 5. Because remember, in a system of, in this particular system equation, I can have two solutions. So m of 1, there can, there's also an m of 2 because n has two solutions, meaning there's going to be two different solutions for the actual system equations. So we can say that this is n of 1 and this is n of 2. So for n of 1, respectively, I get m of 1. So now to solve this equation, what I'm going to do is subtract 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get m of 1 is equal to 5 minus 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And I actually have to distribute the negative sign. So I get m of 1 is equal to 5 minus 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And this is the same thing as 10 minus 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2 because 10 over 2 is equal to 5. So now from here, 10 minus 5 is just 5. So I get 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And I can say that this is my value for m of 1. And remember how n of 1 is equal to 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So my solution, my first solution for this system of equations is 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2, comma, 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So this is my first solution to the system equations. Now for equation number two, or sorry, solution number two, I'm going to use n of two. So n of two is equal to five minus the square root of five over two. And to solve this, I'm gonna plug this back into my equation, m plus n is equal to five. So I can say m2 plus n of 2 is equal to 5, and n of 2 is equal to 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So I have m of 2 plus 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2 is equal to 5. Now to solve this, what I'm going to do is subtract 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get m of 2 is equal to 5 minus 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And remember this is in parentheses. So this is equal to 5 minus 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And again, 5 is the same thing as 10 over 2. So I get 10 over 2 minus 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And subtracting two fractions with the same denominator is equal to both is equal to the numerator subtracting to each other over that denominator. So I get 10 minus 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And 10 minus 5 is 5. So I get m of 2 is equal to 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Meaning m of 2 comma n of 2, this is equal to 
five plus the square root of five over two, comma, five minus the square root of five over two. So this is my second equation to the system of equations. And let me just write my first solution, m1 comma m2 is equal to five minus the square root of five over two, comma, five plus the square root of five over two. And notice how these two are just the opposites of each other. m1 comma m2 is five minus the square root of five over two, comma, five plus the square root of five over two, and m2 comma n2 is five plus the square root of five over two, comma, five minus the square root of five over two. So these just switched order and it still works out. So these two are my two solutions.